discussed Zhao in the previous section. Unfortunately, Chopin never wrote this word into his music, and in fact, it is Franz Liszt who was our source for Chopin's use of the word. However, in Chopin's first published mazurka, he used an Italian term that completely revolutionized our sense of musical time and changed piano music forever. Measure nine, Chopin used the Italian term rubato, asking us to give up the regular tempo and play freely and expressively. You will notice that after this rubato phrase, Chopin has indicated ritenuto, so obviously the rubato can't be the same as ritenuto. Chopin wants the end of the phrase to slow down and expire in a beautiful jal pianissimo. When Chopin indicates rubato, we must make the tempo free, but not necessarily slower. We can use many levels of rubato, from the very subtle to the very obvious. In the next measures, we hear a completely different aspect of jal, a defiance that reflects an indomitable spirit. The fortissimo here must sound like a heroic struggle. We must play with strength, but without harshness. According to all reports, Chopin despised excessively loud sound of the piano, and he said it reminded him of a dog barking. In his playing, Chopin's tone always sang, whether in forte or the softest piano. 